The overall goal of the project is to combine uh, subjective self-report data, which is very common in psychology, with behavioral data and physiological data of the individual person. And what we try to do, we don't want the participants uh, in the laboratory or very complicated technical devices they should wear, but we want consumer-oriented things that are portable accessories that should be very non-intrusive or the least intrusive possible technology devices and they should be comfortable to wear for our participants because they should feel well and they should not intrude, uh, intrude on their daily life activities. Um, so we went for rather common things like bracelets or watches that can be worn quite easily. So we have five study blocks in our project and I will focus on the two yellow ones which are more like about testing the validity of the variable data results and seeing how, how it works in, in a study uh, process. And the last two are our field studies uh, we are conducting and I will quickly walk, with you, walk you through um, each of these. So our first uh, bigger empirical testing study uh, is going to take place next year at the 13th conference of the Austrian Psychological Society, which our department is hosting here in Linz. Uh, and it's going to last for three days. And for the uh, duration of these three days, our conference participants will get at the registration, they will get a short questionnaire about their networking uh, potential and how, how how or quality or what they do already concerning networking. There are already scales to measure networking capabilities. And after they fill out this questionnaire, they get their name tag with, for example, a beacon on it like this one. And the great thing with this beacon is uh, it collects data over these, three, over these three days without the participant having to do anything just being him or herself, which is, in our opinion, very non-intrusive uh, type of measuring. So after these three days, we will know where in this venue the participants will have spent their time. If they, for example, if the poster area where the poster ses session takes place worked, if people looked at the posters or if maybe that didn't work out so well. But most imp importantly, uh, these beacons also track uh, with how many other beacons uh, it interacted during the day, so we know in how many social interactions uh, did our participants engage during those three days of the conference. Uh, why do we want to do this? Well, first, uh, we can finally combine subjective information about networking um, capability, networking quality, with actual behavioral data and see if these two match up. And of course, we hope that uh, for the next um, hosting department of a conference, we can suggest improvements on how to um, design the conference so that participants can engage in all the different activities. Then our second uh, study we are conducting in cooperation with Professor Nicole Gronberger and Simone Seiringer, uh, where we using these uh, wearable bracelets. Students are gonna have to take a short test. Uh, one test is a very demanding and stressful test. And the other group gets tasks which are not that demanding and not that stressful. Then of course we have the classical paper and pencil questionnaire to see how stressful they experienced the previous tasks. And while they do this task, they're already wearing our bracelet so that afterwards we can see if we find uh, in the, if there's a significant difference in these two groups, uh, already also in the heart rate uh, data. And this is very important for us because the wearable we're going to use in this study is one we're going to employ in a later study for a quite long period of time. So we would like to know how, how good that already works in stressful situations and if the heart rate is, 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 is a very reliable measure uh, in a person. Uh, so the field study we conduct in cooperation with uh, Dr. Bernhard Schauer from the Capital University Hospital. And there we're going to have patients as participants who we question in a, the pre-operative phase with our paper and pencil questionnaires. At that time in point, they also get a wearable bracelet. And so three or four weeks prior to their operation, uh, it's a hip operation, so it's elderly patients uh, with severe uh, pain, which 
get a hip operation and afterwards uh, we want to see how well they recover. So we're going to track them also around during their stay at the hospital. And there we're going to have two different study groups. Uh, one group uh, is discharged a couple days later than our control group uh, because uh, the doctors already know that after such an operation, usually uh, the third or fourth day uh, during observation of the patients, um, there would be the time where, where nurses and doctors say this should be the day where they are like capable of doing a lot of stuff on their own without feeling too unsafe after the operation. Um, and we want to see if, if our tracking data is, is revealing the same, the same effect, if these two things match. And of course, if it makes a difference if a patient is longer or not so long in the hospital. So if maybe it's, a, it's beneficial for the patient if he gets home earlier and has to be or can be more autonomous back at home compared to spending more days uh, hospitalized. And what, which is, what is very fortunate for us is that we can follow up up to six months in the post-operative phase, while each month the participants will come to Dr. Schauer, get an Irish Shore questionnaire, we get the tracking data from that month and can already see if things are improving and at which point in time uh, the people reach a level um, on which they're like at the, the optimum level where they can't go any further. So what, what is the, the exact time when the recovery is like finished and they're at the level they're gonna be for the next years after the operation. And what's very fortunate is that we all not only have our subjective self-reports data and our wearable data, but we also have the regular uh, medical data the doctor is collecting during the, the normal operation and hospitalization procedure. So we can very nicely see if these three types of data match up and work together, or if something maybe is not that reliable. For example, that our subjective self-reports don't, don't work as they should. And of course, the overall goal is to improve the recovery process of the patients. Because we're a psychology department, uh, we finally want to uh, employ these devices in a work context and try to measure things that usually took a lot of time for the participants to actively think about these things in retrospect, which is always difficult, and to measure, for example, these things, especially sleep quality, just with these bracelets. And I hope that next year, or sometime around next year when there's not a lit uh, event, I can present to you some of our insightful uh, results. Thank you very much.